Tell me why this was such an important event for you to come out with tonight. Well, I get to introduce Paxton Smith, who has become a hero of mine. You know, she was the young woman who took her valedictorian speech and actually made it a political, a social moment. And she used her voice to impact positive change, and that's what I strive to do every day. So I'm so excited to be here to support her. Um, she deserves all of that's so sweet, and I'm looking around. There's so many great people here tonight. Who are you fangirling over seeing? Uh, I mean, Amanda Gorman's pretty, pretty uh, fangirl worthy. But I, you know, I fangirl over everyone, everyone. Like I'm fangirling over you right now. Okay. Wow, humbled. <laughs> this is the honor of my lifetime. Thank you so much. Um, this, this event tonight is all about women empowering other women. So, who are some women who helped you get to where you are now in your career? In my career, well, or life, or life. Uh, Judith White was a big part of my childhood and a part of my career, and um, she was actually the, the first person that taught me how to do I feel like that's pretty empowering. That's iconic. Wow. <laughs> that, I'm glad. I'm better. Not many people can say that. Um, but, you know, I, I admire so many. There's so many women to admire right now. From Ellie Smeal still fighting to get the ERA passed to Gloria Steinem, who's still empowering women. Um, it's such an incredible feminist. Angela Davis. Like, there's so many incredible women um, who have been fighting this fight for 50, 100 years, but 10 years for equality. So I'm just happy to be a part of it, standing on their shoulders, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll find some uh, Really cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We're so happy you're here tonight, and so happy you got to talk to you. Incredible.